Welcome back to the Jacksonville Buzz Legacy of Leaders. I'm Steve Strum. This morning, we have Bob Hitchens from Celerity, known now as Ronstadt Digital. I think I got it all right, man. Yes, you did. Uh, all right. First and <laughs> foremost, we were talking offset. You uh, served our great country in the United States Air Force. Thank you for your service. Without you, we don't have the ability to do this. Cool. Um, we're here today to talk a little bit about some really high-tech nerdery is probably the best way that most folks are going to look at this. And we're going to talk about this digital cloud. Okay. So tell us a little bit about what is Celerity, now known as Ronstadt Digital. What is it that you guys do? Okay, so uh, Ronstadt Digital is a managed services organization, which means instead of just providing staffing resources, we provide uh, managed solutions. So we come in with a complete solution for you. Uh, we'll do an assessment, and do some analysis, do some planning, and do a design for you. Uh, Celerity is the advisory services arm of Ronstadt Digital, so we come in and we do all the advisory stuff. Mm -hmm. We will build out the solution, give you the plan, step you out through the whole thing, uh, right up to the point where you start actually doing the work. At that point in time, if you decide you want to move forward, then we can also tap into the Ronstadt staffing organization and pull in staffing all over the world. I think we're in 39 countries, uh, got about 50,000 employees, and we can pull those in and provide you know all the assistance that you need in actually implementing the solution. And then we can also train your staff to take over when we're gone so that we're not, got it. We, don't, so we don't just come in and do something and then leave. We bring you up to speed so you can do it as well. So this managed solution cloud business, mm -hmm. right? I happen to know a lot about this in okay. my professional career as well as on this show. Data integrity is something that is becoming more and more important, mm -hmm. not that it wasn't always important, but the bad guys are getting better and better. Yes, the right. fraudsters now that are out there, gosh, they make an email look like it came from your mom. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're really logging into a website and giving the password of your bank account to some guy in the international. So what is, why has there been such an uptick in IT security? Because I know that that drives a lot of those, because otherwise I'll just set up a network and <laughs> email to all my staff, but it's, we gotta have something new. It's, it's because you don't need, at one point in time, in order to be able to hack into something, you had to have you know, an A, a plus skill level. You really had to know what you were doing. Um, since that time, the people with the A plus skill levels have actually created products that you can find on the dark web, whatever. You can pull these products down, have absolutely no technical knowledge whatsoever, and then get into somebody else's computer system. Wow. Yes. <laughs> so, oh, so let me make sure I got that in, right. In order to fight that, you need to... Uh, you got to have uh, a bigger gotta, gun. Yeah, exactly. So, okay. <laughs> so let me make sure I have this right. So one of my, my kids uh, competes in battle bots, which are little robots that, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. beat the crap out of each other. Uh, you are. Okay. These, Steven is a very highly ranked battle bot driver cool. in the one pound weight category. That's fun. So the big guys that you see on TV go to the tournaments mm -hmm. and they bring their big robot and then they have their regalia. I don't know how to buy I do not know how to build a witch doctor cannot do that I, I wouldn't even know where to start right but and, and nor would anybody yeah. but they have the big thing right the expert the a plus skill level guy and then what they sell which I think is fabulously brilliant is they sell like miniature kits of the big guy that people can build with zero to no skill set mm -hmm. and then they can actually compete in the little tournaments for the smaller weight yep. classes yep. So you're saying that the bad guys that you and I envision as these hackers that, the, you know. The black are, hat guys. Right, yeah, yeah. So those guys are selling the smaller weight class version as like a kit to people that don't know what they're doing? That would be great if they sold it. It would be a little bit harder to get things in. They just posted it. They just Oh, they it. don't sell this. They no, just, they just post it. You can just go out in there and download it. For free? Yeah. On how to hack whatever? Yeah. You go on tour, you can download it. That's a, it's, that's fascinating in such like a it's frightening. It's, 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 you know, it's like a dystopian 1984 Orson Welles story that I you know in my mind I have this guy in this dark web thing that exists and he's selling his stuff and so but he's not even selling he's just giving it away. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. So you have unskilled kids kids that are knowing how to tap into this information mm -hmm. that are trying to hack things like banks mm -hmm. or I mean that's a little dramatic. Yeah. And you come in to intercept that. 
and as a small business owner, because you, you know that's a big deal, mm-hmm. right? Data integrity. Right. Uh, you know, these guys aren't even thinking about that stuff. And I've heard and horror stories where you can hack in through like a copy machine. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because everything's connected now. Oh, you yeah, have yeah. the Internet of Things, so as soon as you can get to one of those things, it's out on the. That's why edge computing is such a big deal right now, because those things are on what they call the edge of your network. If you can get into that edge, then you can weasel your way back into the core of the network. But that's, I mean, that's not even, I mean, the, there's kind of a new paradigm now, which is the whole ransomware thing. They're not just trying to get in to steal the money. They don't want to deal with trying to get into everybody's bank accounts. They just want to get to the company, say, okay, we have your data. Here's proof that we have your data. Pay us to get us back. Wow. Like, <laughs> okay. digi- like <laughs> digital piracy, man. It's, it's exactly what it is. We stole your data. We have it. We can give it to anybody that we want to, or we can do anything we want to it. If you want it back, give us money and send it to send, buy, buy these bitcoins and send it to this this wallet. And then we're done. My goodness. <laughs> the world we live. So, OK, I could get I could talk forever on this. Like, I mean, just think about the spider webs of all of that. If people want to find out more, because that is shocking. I mean, I, I get it. It makes total sense. I mean, every time I talk to somebody, it's, we're having an IT update for X, Y, Z. Mm-hmm. And uh, if people need to find out more about you, talk, you know, call Bob, get you getting connected to figure out how they at least can have a threat assessment done. Mm-hmm. Right. Because I imagine the first step is, we OK, where your holes. We can do that. Uh, what's the best way to connect with you? Uh, Bob.Hitchens at RunStudDigital.com. There you go. <laughs> well, and what, what we'll do is we'll hang all your links on uh, IWantToBuzz.com. Thank you so much for coming in. I mean, this oh, is, my pleasure. you know, I, it's amazing just how fast the world moves. And it's just, you know. Gonna, that's one of those things that'll keep me up tonight going, gosh, there's some black hat guy out there just giving away the right. keys of the code. And sometimes they just do it anyway. Sometimes they'll say, you know, we'll give, we'll put all your information out on the Internet and everybody will have access to all your data. Um, and people freak out about that, obviously. So mm. they pay and then they just go ahead and put it out there. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess <laughs> and, and that is definitely where the ounce of prevention is better than the pound of the cure. It is. It is. You, you, you need to have some good, good, solid stuff. You need to have backups of your backups. So, yeah. And people just don't even <laughs> and people, you know, the, the average you know, business owner, you know, I mean, they may know some of this stuff. They're probably not even thinking about that. No, well, they're, they're they, more and more they, thinking now, about it. Nowadays. They're reading about it. And it's like, right. well, geez, it could happen to me. So <laughs> then go to their IT guy and say, you know, well, how can we stop this from happening here? And then that guy comes to you and then threat assessment slash solution based. And then eventually, should it gets to the end of it, you can actually staff the solution should it be needed. Yeah, we, we, we're not really in the security space. I mean, we're, we're, in the, we're in the space where we will build you an architecture that is secure or as secure as it can be. Now, you're going to have to. I have to go get my own guns and bullets. Ex- exactly. I understand. We, we can set you up so that it's hard to get to your data, but not impossible. It's never going to be impossible. We right. can set it up so it's hard for people to get to your data. Then you have to go out and you have to set in the monitoring and the alerting and all of that kind of stuff. Put up your your perimeter defenses and make sure that all of your stuff is monitored. But constantly. you guys are going to provide the pathway of clarity to get there. Right. Right. So That's like, amazing. like you, you mentioned data a little bit earlier. So data is, is the key. And so if you have data in the cloud, you're now in a public cloud, that's great um, if you lock it down properly. So you put it on what we call an island. So you put put all your data in one specific spot, and then you have one way to get onto that island, just one. And everything comes through that one way. Nothing gets onto the island unless it comes through this door. All right. Gotcha. Then, so then you have a little bit of security there. Then you have to worry about, okay, now people are going to want to use that data. Having data that nobody uses is worthless, right? Mm-hmm. So you now have to have ways of getting that data off the island securely. And that's really where, the, where we can come in and help you architect a solution. It says, okay, there are one, two, three ways to get data off the island. It has to go through these and their you know, approval processes and stuff like that. So whenever you want to take it off, you have to go through one of these steps to get there. So we make it a little bit, little bit, little bit safer. It is fascinating. <laughs> Guys, thanks for joining us on Legacy Leaders. Bob, thank you for educating us on something that, you know, I'm like, ah, it's just fascinating to you know, talk about. If you like us, share us. Remember, live with gratitude.